Salut my dudes and welcome back to the channel. I am Tactical Fetus and today we'll be going over some tips, tricks, and a drill on how to improve your aim with any hero on Overwatch. First off, I'm going to say this drill that I'm showing you guys today is not an original idea of mine. I did see other people doing this and I started practicing with this drill and it's drastically improved my aim and I just wanted to share it with you guys. All right, so the first thing you're gonna do is go to a custom match and select the enemy team to have six Anas on hard difficulty. The reason why we're choosing Ana is because she cannot headshot you, so she can't do any damage when you set it on headshot only. Also, she likes to strafe back and forth in an unpredictable pattern. And it really simulates real game action and can get some good practice for you. So after that, we're gonna set the damage multiplier to 200% and the healing multiplier to 25% just so the Anas can't heal each other and never die. After that, uh, we're going to set it to headshots only, and I recommend you choosing a couple maps uh, to play on that you can go back and forth and play so you can practice different elevations and different situations. Now, in the video above, you'll notice that I'm using Soldier 76. You can use any hero. Uh, I recommend using McCree. Genji, Hanzo, Widowmaker, anybody you want to improve aim on. I'm just choosing Soldier 76 because he is my favorite hero and I'm really trying to get a lot better at his aim because my aim is kind of poor with Soldier 76 at the moment. When you're first starting doing this drill, I recommend standing still first so you can get the fundamentals down. And do not get discouraged in the first 10 minutes when you're first doing this. Um, because you're not used to only being able to do damage at the head and you might find that your headshot accuracy is actually pretty poor. After you get done with your first initial practicing and you think you've got down the standing headshot, uh, let's get on to moving while you're shooting. So when you're moving while you're shooting, the mechanics are the same. Um, you just gotta be extra careful when you're doing it and then try using abilities while you're doing your headshots. Make sure to change the elevation of your character, like getting on top of buildings or being below your enemies while you're practicing this as you advance so that you can accommodate all situations, as well as switching up your maps because you're obviously not going to play on Volskaya Industries every single game. Now, this drill isn't going to fix your aim overnight, but you will start to see a drastic improvement even just after 10 minutes of practicing this. I do recommend doing this 30 minutes before you play competitive every day as it can provide a really good warm up for you. And also, if you're doing this every day, it has topical use and it will make your aim better over time. I try to do this every day before I play if I have the time. I even do it for an hour sometimes if I just have a ton of time on my hands. But I do recommend doing this every single day and you'll see a huge improvement in your aim. This drill is applicable whether you're playing on PC or on console. I will talk about some sensitivities. So when you're playing on PC, your mouse sensitivity should be set pretty low until you get used to it and you can go a little bit higher if that's what you prefer. Um, but you'll get more precise movements when you're moving slow. So for you console players out there, there is this weird belief that your sensitivity should be high. Guys, this is not Call of Duty. On Overwatch, you have to be extremely accurate. The aim assist is not as strong as it is on Call of Duty and games like that. Your sensitivity should be low. I used to play on 80 whenever I played Call of Duty. I'd play on Insane because that's what you do on Call of Duty because you need quick movements. You need to be able to turn around fast. Uh, you can die in one shot on that game all the time. But when you're playing on Overwatch, you have to make precise shots and precise movements. And I usually keep my sensitivity between the 40 and 60 range. But if you're just starting out, um, I might even start lower than that. I usually keep mine at 40. I think that's where it's good. I think 40 is the best place to be on this game. You need to have precise movements and move those slowly uh, or you're going to have a bad time. All right, guys, that is it for this video. Again, this isn't going to fix your aim overnight, but if you start practicing this and implementing it every single time you play, you will start to see results and improving your aim. If you like this video, please like this video. If you want to see more of my content, then please subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am Tactical Fetus, and I'll see you guys next time.